What's up, football junkies? Welcome to the biggest winners and losers from week five in the NFL. Let's get rolling faster than the New York Jets throwing away a Super Bowl season. First winner, Jamar Chase. Dude went off with 193 receiving yards and two touchdowns. But hold up, the Bengals still lost? It's like showing up to a buffet and leaving hungry. Jamar, we see you, but tell the rest of your team to show up next time, all right? First loser, and speaking of the Bengals, Coach Zach Taylor just lost the plot in overtime. Three straight halfback dive plays and only three yards? He treated the game like a bad Madden simulation. Yeah, Coach, we're all frustrated, just like Evan McPherson when you made him try that 53-yarder. Spoiler alert, it didn't go well. Another winner, Danny Dimes over here dropping dimes like a busted vending machine. 295 yards, two touchdowns. Giants fans are finally smiling until the next interception, of course. But for now, Danny's dancing. On the losing side, Aaron Rodgers? More like Aaron hobbled. Three picks in London and suddenly the Jets' Super Bowl or bust motto is looking more like bust with a capital B. Come on, Aaron. That London T ain't working for you. On the winning side, the Jacksonville Jaguars finally woke up. Lawrence tossing dimes and Walker turning into a sack machine with three takedowns. Feels like the Jags are saying, hey, we exist. A round of applause, but keep it light. It's still Jacksonville. Another winner, Bears rookie quarterback Caleb Williams threw for 300 yards, making Chicago fans cautiously hopeful again. Five games in, and he's out here like Justin Fields who? But calm down, Chicago. We all know how this movie ends, sadly. And our last loser of the week, the entire Raiders team, just yikes. Got smashed 34 to 18, and now the best player wants out. How bad do you have to be for players to beg for a trade midseason? Raiders are like the ex who won't stop calling and cringy and going nowhere. All right, and that's your week five winners and losers. Drop a comment below. Let me know who else you had on your list. Until next time, stay tuned, stay savage, and don't let your team be this week's meme material. Peace.